Just a day after Minnesota Timberwolves center Carl Anthony Towns dropped 60 points on the San Antonio Spurs, Brooklyn Nets guard Kyrie Irving looked to dazzle the Orlando Magic crowd with his own 60-piece performance. On a night that seemed like it would just be a regular game, Kyrie was able to remind everyone that he is one of the best scorers to play this game. An insane scoring performance by Kyrie at all three levels. Irvin's 60-piece marks the first 60-point game in the Nets franchise history and also beat the previous scoring record set by Darren Williams. Hello everyone, this is Nicholas from Nets Republic and let's dive into how Kyrie dropped 60 points against the Orlando Magic. Kyrie in the first half of this game dropped 41 points, shooting 73% from the field and 85% from three. Kyrie's first bucket would come off of Bruce Brown's screen, Mo Bamba plays drop coverage, Brown sets a really good screen on RJ Hampton, and with the help of the screen and the magic playing in a drop, Kyrie, who is shooting 39% on pull-up threes, is able to dribble and pull up here and knock down this three. His next bucket would come off a baseline inbound, and the Nets go into a ball screen. Hampton goes under the screen, and Wendell tries to show but doesn't fully get up there to contest Kyrie's shot, giving Kyrie a good amount of space to let this fly. Kyrie is one of the best when he gets downhill. Drummond looks to set a screen for Kyrie, but he rejects it and takes Hampton one-on-one. -on -one. one thing I love about Kyrie is that he takes off early when driving inside, but he is able to hang in the air, cradle the ball, and lay it up. We're going to see an example of that soon, but here he does take off early, draws the help from the weak side low man in Cole Anthony. This leaves Mo Bamba having to play between two players. One thing that Bruce Brown does so well is that he makes himself available in these types of situations. So if Kyrie getting ready to pass with this no look, Bamba expects a pass to go to the corner, that's why he slides over, but Brown is able to cut inside, Kyrie finds him, and he gets a dunk. The Nets get a stop here, with Kyrie running the break, the Magic does a good job at getting back and forming a wall against Kyrie. So he pulls it back out and looks to relocate. Hampton is trailing Kyrie, so this pass back from Kevin to Kyrie in the corner allows Kyrie to quick get a look at the basket, get his feet set, and launch this three over Hampton. On this possession, Drummond goes screens for Kyrie, and he's able to get going left. Kyrie draws two on the ball, but now Bamba commits. Check how Kyrie is able to stride stop, jumps off of two feet, shows the ball high, and swings it from his left to his right side, creating an opening over Bamba as Bamba slides past him. Just a tough finish from Kyrie. With the Nets coming up the floor here, Kevin Durant goes into a ball screen with Andre Drummond. Drummond gets behind Wendell, and Hampton comes over to tag Drummond from the strong side, helping one pass away. Usually the help in the NBA would come from the weak side. That's why Franz Wagner is positioned to help in the paint. With Hampton helping one pass away, Durant passes to Kyrie and check how Kyrie shoots this ball. No dip on this shot, catches it at the level of his head and just launches it with no hesitation. Just a pure, pure shooter. Kyrie is shooting 49% on mid-range shots according to Clean the Glass, so on this possession where Kyrie gets a switch on Wendell on the screen, Wendell plays good defense here but Kyrie is able to dribble, stop on a dime, pull up over the big, and knock down this shot. Moving into the second quarter, an off the jump ball here with 5 seconds left, Kyrie goes one on one with Okiki. Quick jab and go, Kyrie is able to get low on his drive, he uses his off arm to shield his defender away from the ball, and once he gets in front of Okiki, explodes off of 2 feet, great at just hanging in the air, and gets this layup over the big. On this possession, Kyrie gets a high ball screen from Nick Claxton. What Markel Fultz could have done is just go under since the ball screen is set so high so that he can meet Kyrie quicker. Claxton sets a really, really good screen which gets Fultz to trail. Kyrie now goes one-on-one -on -one with the big, gets low, initiates contact, gets through the traffic in the lane, stays in control with the ball, and gets this layup inside. Here, James Johnson dribbles towards Kyrie in the corner. Fultz thinks that Kyrie is going up top for a handoff, so Kyrie is able to fake that, shift Fultz's momentum, cut back door, excellent pass from Johnson right on the money. Now, maybe Kyrie here could have just taken a layup on the left side, 
but Fultz is right behind him. So just to make sure that there isn't an attempt to block him from behind, he jumps off of two feet, cradles the ball in the air, and reverses this layup, using that rim as protection from a potential block. With the Nets coming up the floor here, Kyrie draws the big on him off the catch. This is just him getting low, quick right to left crossover, sees Terrence Ross is trying to stun at the ball so he brings the ball low looking to draw a foul. He takes off early in the paint but again, he's amazing at just hanging in the air, gliding, keeping the ball high and just finishing inside. Here Kyrie gets the ball up top and gets a double ball screen. Kyrie spins off his defender and is able to create space and an advantage even before he takes the screen. Off the first screen, KD stays and Drummond just immediately slips to the basket. Hampton doesn't get through the screen in time, Wagner doesn't look to switch, Wendell plays in a drop, and Kyrie having this amount of space, just an easy look at a mid-range shot. And then moments later, Kyrie just showing off his range, stops near the logo, the defense doesn't immediately pressure, and he launches his three-point bomb. The Nets get Kyrie coming off an of Iverson cut going from the left wing to the right wing and this flows into an empty side ball screen. Kyrie rejects the screen and has so much space here to work with. Just a drive and then stopping and pulling up for a mid-range shot as Hampton contests the shot late. The Nets get the same exact Iverson action and this time it's just a catch, turn, shoots this three with no hesitation and with the rate Kyrie was scoring at it seemed like no one was going to stop him. Going into the third quarter, the crowd start to shift and get behind Kyrie. With this game being a blowout, Kyrie would continue to dazzle the crowd as off this bad pass by Cole Anthony to Hampton, Hampton fumbles the ball and Kyrie steals it, leading to Kyrie running in transition and drawing a foul. And on this drive on Hampton, he's able to get low, absorbs the bump from Hampton, and is able to hit this running floater, tough shot for the and one. The Nets run a KD Bruce Brown ball screen. KD draws two to the ball, which opens up Brown on the short roll. Wagner slides over to help on the roll. Kessler Edwards sets an off ball screen on Cole Anthony. Brown is able to find Kyrie who knocks down this catch and shoot three. On this possession of Kyrie dribbling the ball up, he is able to get by Cole Anthony with a between the legs cross going right, getting Cole on his hip. Loses control on the ball and falls, which makes Cole trip himself, but he recovers. And this is just insane ball control that Kyrie Irvin has. And then to follow that up, exploding off of two feet, hanging in the air. This is good defense from Wendell, but great offense from Kyrie, getting the ball off the glass just as his feet were about to land. Kyrie would end the third quarter with 51 for the game, and to start the fourth, Kyrie gets a go screen from Patty Mills here, and as Kyrie drives inside of his defender, snatch back cross, creates space, and a mid-range shot for him is good. And hey, we haven't seen Kyrie one-on-one -on -one post up at all this game, until now. He gives Fultz a couple of jabs before a one dribble step back and it's money. And to get his 60th point of the game, the Nets come up the floor, Kyrie gets the ball, drives immediately off the catch, and rises up into this pull-up three to give him the record. Kyrie would soon check out the game, and the Nets would go on to drop 150 points in a blowout victory over the Magic. Kyrie would score 60 points in almost 35 minutes of play, and would knock down eight threes, and go 12 of 13 from the free throw line in a special performance.